for our first Wobbly Wednesday, yeah. it should be around alcohol. Like, how could it not be Wobbly Wednesday? Wobbly yeah. Wednesday is about just feeling unstable. When I think of the term wobbly, it's something that was um, suggested that I use to help my autistic son express himself. If he's having a wobbly day, or he's not having a wobbly day, or how high on the wobbly chart are you today? Just so that he's able to recognise, oh, I haven't had a good day today. I've not felt myself. Like, And I think wobbly is a great way to say we're all a bit wobbly because we're all forced into a, a position to stand on a tight, like a tightrope and be told you're not allowed that side of the tightrope or that side of the tightrope, you need to stay on the tightrope. And we're all trying to be in lockdown while wobbling along. And, and many of us are falling off the tightrope. We're all falling and we're gonna be on the floor figuratively and literally cr curled up into a ball. And somebody like you, I think, is at the right time, the right time for people to go, do you know what, I like him, it's not judgmental, he knows his stuff, he's studied and trained, he's obviously passionate about this. This might be the time that I'm gonna get somebody to help me just talk about a few of the things that I have not been able to share or not even recognize that I have. Me and my other half, we started our therapy on Monday because yeah. we're irritating each other. We're trying to co-parent, we're trying to we're trying to figure out who, if a child does something, we both want to teach them the lesson when normally I'm teaching the lesson. You're not anywhere near the house at 3.30. I am, and that's when I do my routine. And now you're here imposing. You know, so I think if people can reach out and say, I need help, I don't have it all together. How can somebody who's watching this now go, I think I need to reach out. How do they reach out to you? I have my website and uh, it's, it's called addictionsrecovery.co.uk. I think one of the key things is that addictions, addictive behaviors that wobble, they're the surface representations of something much deeper. You know, what, what is literally under the skin, you know, the things that sort of lay there, trauma, for instance. Now, again, you, we must look at these words. We must look at sort of these words in a sort of slightly different mindset to what we're used to, you know. It, it doesn't have to be the big events. It could be little things. It's, it could be the little things we haven't worked through. It could be the subtle rejections we, we find at work, say, for instance, day to day. You know, it's that hi somebody else doesn't say to me that triggers me. You know, I, I meet someone, I, I know them, and they haven't look, looked at me properly, or they feel something which triggers a sense of rejection. You know, just these little, little things that we sort of don't let, you know, be seen uh, on a day to day basis. There's so many things that trigger us, you know, and they can have sort of, and, and I want to sort of say that because I'm not, I'm not discounting from the ones who actually have had trauma based on some really serious life events. So due regard to that, but that is trauma. But again, for someone who hasn't known that sort of trauma, I mean, who hasn't been the sort of war veteran who hasn't come back, they also experience trauma on a day-to-day -day basis. So I think a lot of the work, how do I manage that trauma could be things like, I start drinking, you know, I start say over exercising, I start working which is what's happening. You know, we are, we are surrounded by, we live in a material world, world where spirituality or this connection with our inner selves is, is well, it's, it's, you know, it's there. Uh, we, we all inherently are spiritual, I guess, as we are physical and emotional and, you know, all other dimensions. But somewhere we are having to sit with ourselves more. And in that, if the foundations aren't that strong of my being, then, then I would wobble. You know, I would sort of get shaky and that could, could, could be in so many ways. One was as a parent, you know, you're not there. You know, I'm the one who runs it. You know, and you're coming and telling me how to do it. So suddenly it brings forth a dimension of the marriage that needs to be looked at, you know, about the, about the balance of, of, of responsibility, say, for instance. And it, does not, it, it, it doesn't pinpoint. It's just therapy or just connections or just connecting with someone. It's, it's a relational dimension where you explore your relationship with yourself, your disappointments, your losses, your sadness, the grief, pain, you know, all the sort of things that are not so, so pretty to sit with. Working through that is where the healing and happiness comes through, you know, because otherwise it's like bypassing, you know, I could, if I, it's, it's like, uh, what, what would I say? I'm, I'm not a fit man, you know, say for example, I'm not a fit guy and then I wear these really expensive clothes because somewhere when I'm wearing the big brands, I distract from the fact that I have a belly which I haven't worked through getting fitter. So and I'm, 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 I'm not fat shaming. I'm not sort of doing that. All I'm saying is that there, there, there could be so many ways I use, uh, use different 
methods or the external to actually heal the internal, but the work is internal. So you reach out and you say, hey, wait a second, you can have a chat with me, you know, and then you start having conversations. And then that's where something comes out of, because if you would be an expert in your life, so a therapist can't come and tell you what to do, but what, what a therapist can do is help you connect with what your internal wobbles are. Uh, and, and, and they'll vary, you know, uh, and a wobble is not a sign of weakness. It's just a pinpoint that says, I need to work harder. I need to put some effort and focus on that wobble because a wobble is pinpointing to something that is not strong or firm or, or you know, is, or is able to hold themselves. So it's just a flag that says, ah, look at me, I need some guidance. But a lot of times we sort of start to judge it. I like that. And I think now that we live in this kind of time, can people come to you for something that they might think is really small? Because when you think about having a counsellor or a therapist, or anything, you might think, oh, you know, it needs to be someone's died or there's something traumatic. Tell me one of your most, the clients that you've had that maybe everyone else might think it's a really insignificant problem. Like, tell us the, the, the surface level, because I think some people might think that their, their problems aren't big enough to go and get help from somebody. You'd be surprised that a lot many people actually feel their problems aren't big enough, even the ones going through it. I mean, you'll have someone, I've sat with someone and they've, they've spoken about how affected they are by somebody else's problem that is, ah, uh, you know, they, you know they, they feel a lot of empathy for the other person. And they've, they're going through such a crazy time themselves. You know, there's the health that's backing up. Their relationships are not working out for them. They're losing money. Life isn't, hasn't been good. And they've seen so much. And suddenly they, they suddenly, they're not seeing their own pain because it's almost easy to focus, like I said, on the outside and see that person's pain. Because somewhere it's a deflection or it's a way of connecting with my feelings. But why are somebody else? So it's almost easier to focus on the other person. But... It's like going to a supermarket. It's like going to a shopping place, right? You don't have to have a big list to, to go shop or fill a trolley. You could carry a basket or for that matter, not even carry a basket, go to a shelf, pick your product, pay for it and leave, you know? So the very act of measurement of a problem is, is in itself an issue. The question is, it's not a failure if I need help. I'm not weak if I need help. I, it, it, it is not a comment of me. It's a very, very simple thing that says, I need, if I work on this dimension that I identify, it'll help me. And the ability is, if I'm able to ask for help, half the work happens when I, when I acknowledge the, the, the problem itself. And the act of reaching out is the action that will then eventually lead to maybe the healing uh, journey that follows through. Fantastic. I, I can't agree anymore. So if you're watching and you're having a little bit of a wobble, then please click on the link below, reach out to Nav and start talking to him. If you have any questions that you want us to talk about or any subjects around wobble um, next week, then please message, comment below and we will talk about some of those topics next week. I've really enjoyed speaking to you. I feel like I've had my own mini therapy. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure.